Goober Gang, in this video, we're gonna show you how to tie the improved clinch knot. Let's talk about it. If you watch our other knot tying videos, you know that the Palomar knot and the No Knot Snell are the two we use the most on our channel. However, sometimes there's situations that arise where you just need to use a different kind of knot. Let's pretend that you don't have access to both sides of the line that you're tying like we do right here. Maybe one side is tied to a swivel or attached to another piece of line. It's somewhere in your rig already and maybe your leader line broke off, but you've got enough leader line left over that you still want to tie a hook on and keep rocking and rolling. It's situations like these where we like to use the improved clinch knot. So pick a side, doesn't really matter which side you're going from. Pass it through the eye of the hook. I'm going to go from the back. Doesn't matter if you go from the front. It's all good. We're only going to go through the eye once. And then we're going to pinch a little loop right down here. You can even twist it once. We want that little gap right there so we can pass our line back through that when we go to finally cinch our line down. So we're going to go ahead and grab that so it doesn't move. Then we're going to wind this top piece around. You might want a little bit more line here and just use your fingers, wrap that around a couple times. If you've got heavier test line, like a leader line that might be 80 or 100 pounds, you want to do fewer wraps. Right now I'm wrapping with 40 pound mono, so I'm going to do about six or seven. We still got that little loop right down here. We're going to take our tag end, put it through that loop, and then that creates another loop we're gonna pass right back through there. Hold on to that tag line and you can see this is already starting to cinch up for us. Let's start to get some of that slack out of there. And you can see that's already starting to form and slide down towards the eye of our hook. The more I pull on it, the cleaner that knot's gonna get. I'm going to alternate pulling a little bit of slack out of the main line, a little bit out of the tag line, until you end up with a nice pretty knot right there. Of course, trim your tag end down to whatever length you want. I like to keep them on the shorter side. There you go. Happy fishing. If you want to see other knots and rigs, make sure you check out our playlist. I'll link that up at the top here. Maybe it's over here. I don't know. It's somewhere up there. Just because this video is over doesn't mean the fun has to stop here. Check out these videos down below. Catch you some more goobers while you wait for our next video to drop. Later.